Angel of Despair. That's why his place seems first. so weird. Let's see what Adam's first move is. Uh, <laughs> reading it again. Uh, yeah, I should probably have read it before the match. <laughs> No, I mean, one, he knows the one, gist, one, like he's yeah, trying to figure out go the exact one, order. One, one, something? Yes, uh, I'm They're wondering, he, Adam's wondering if he can go uh, pass and then play something. I mean, he's wondering yes, if he just yes. has to target, oh, uh, like, instantly, uh, okay. which he does not. He does not. And then you can choose, no, he, like, but I think that's he's not, what you're No, he's saying. not what asking. I'm, I'm mostly saying, your trick's wondering if he can pass first okay, and then yeah. play one later. Okay. Which I believe he can yeah. do. He yeah. think he can pass. It just has to be a double then pass. If Saito for the passes, thing. yeah. Yeah. Double but he pass. He knows Saito's not going to pass because he knows Saito has to rest everything. Yep. Dr. Foundry? That? I believe Vayne Ring. Yeah, I don't think they previously played Oblivion Ring, did they? Um, they have like Putrefire Fire, Pan Charm, something like that, some sort of free draft. Yeah. Yep. But this ring seems better, just because Hyper Gen is into play and yeah. you got your opponents like yeah, Slayer definitely. Angels. Can you, uh, are you able to stack the, stack the trigger so you could get rid of your own Oblivion Ring and still there, whatever that you remove with Oblivion Ring? With Terastodon? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you should, you could, you should be you could able be, to. Yeah, right? How does Terastodon work? Does he get a 3-3 then? Yeah, whoever, yeah. Whoever, yeah. whatever, controls per, yeah, whoever controls it gets a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, so the he permanent. just, he just yeah. like kills his own lands? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's sick. Once, a, that's once in a while, there's not, stuff. <laughs> Saito is a genius. He, he was telling me uh, before the top eight that he was he's a card dealer in Japan. Right. And he was just looking through cards one day, and we're awake and looked at Terastra, and I was like, man, this would be really good in Hypergenesis. Yeah. I should play this deck. I don't want to test very much for this tournament, <laughs> so <laughs> I'll just play Hypergenesis with this awesome new card. That's awesome. He always has it too. <laughs> I guess they're uh, off to the targeting what stuff now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're figuring we're just waiting for Saito to figure out what Angel Despair, Terrestrial, and Oblivion Ring all are gonna target. I think Adam just wants to get a little more information here, see how Saito like continues to play out the games, like maybe it'll help him in the future or something, but like he definitely can't win this game. Do you think he could have won this game if you'd taken Demonic Dread? I mean, it would have given yeah. him a better shot. I don't yeah. understand why. Yeah. I don't know why he would do that. Okay, uh, fast, fast attack. This one, target. Angel Despair. Looks like it's going very close to Dark Deaths. <laughs> yep. Oh, nope. Dark Confidant, looks like. Dark Confidant. Tyler can probably afford to destroy one of his opponent's land with yeah. his rest of them. Do you target what land do you target? Do you target the Dark Deaths? Or? It's weird. I think Dark Confidant would not have been my choice. For I think I would rather just get rid of everything else. Yeah, who cares about the two one? It doesn't do anything. Yeah. You can look at it and give it back. Someone wants to know if you're going to play the, the Pro Tour Apollo. Uh, I don't know yet. My, we need that. Uh, we shine you. No. <laughs> Terrestrian's just moving up there with... Yeah. I guess uh, not... I can't kill Bob, though. <laughs> Only not you're soft stuff, Hungary. Yep. And you're swamp. Alright. Okay. Uh, no. no. Fast. Ring. Remove this. And, uh, mm -hmm. this three target from oh, I see what he's doing. Yes, he's removing his Terrestrial, so it comes uh, back on the plane. He gets to target three, three more. Mm -hmm. That's probably better. Okay. Than yeah. While we were. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. I guess Saito's been playing this deck for a couple of rounds. <laughs> and I choose new target. Mm -hmm. It'd be funny if like Saito messed up the triggers and just got his Terrestrial removed forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why he took so long. My forest mm -hmm. and, uh, okay. the now we're gonna get both of the lands. You get then... two creatures. Okay. You get one creature. And oh, one of Saito's. Yeah. Something. Thanks. Oh wait. Uh, yeah. All right. Forest, right? Yep. Cool.
Uh -huh. So your chick just plays Urborg and passes. Does not look good for, for Adam. No kidding. <laughs> Like, I guess he's not in terrible shape here. He does have Into the Royal in his hand, so he can, like... I don't know. Like, is, did Saito, like, kind of give him outs here? Mm, I mean, if he maybe. does have Into the Royal, like, he just leaves him with, like, a 3-3. Right. Like, maybe he could have just, like, killed his own lands and, like... Yep. Yeah, so... Take eight. Take eight. Your trick goes down to ten. Oh. Dude, the aqueduct. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wait, well, stuck. Huh? Well, in the play, this one stuck, right? Yeah, you can. But is he? I think he's seeing if it's his base. Oh, for strong mana. For, like, for black oh, mana yeah, to yeah, charge yeah. his. Oh, sure, sure, sure. It's a trigger ability, so you can do that. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so now, now your chick's basically dead. Yeah. Well, especially after Saito. Drops it's the uh, hard cast of Spirit Guide. He does not do that this turn. Huh? He does not do that this turn. Saito? Yeah. Doesn't he have two on his fungal reaches? No. And that, he has no, one. one for your chick backs it up. Okay, oh, your chick sure, backs sure. it up. So we know your chick's going to bring at least a chalice of the void. And, and probably some creatures? Yeah, probably the Una and the Sphinx. Taking out Smother, Repeal, and Engineering Explosives, I would guess. Even though Explosives is not terrible against Trastodon. He should probably play for the point where he does not get like hypergenesis to resolve it, instead of trying to win. Right. So why would you bring in the big guys? That's a good point. I mean, maybe like Arena might just be better than some of these bad cards. Like maybe he could just bring in cards to like whatever he wants to play on Chromebox. Like the Foundry uh, Sword combo doesn't it's seem very bad. Good yeah. So I mean, like he could he could end up just bringing in a lot of spells very easily. Like Death Mark's not that bad. It's gonna get stressed on too, you know. All right, and we have some words from our sponsors. Yes, we'd like to thank our sponsors here on GG's Live. Uh, first up, HotSauceGames.com. If you go to HotSauceGames.com, you can use coupon code GG's Live and get 10% off a purchase $25 or more. We're also sponsored by Pastimes.net. <coughs> Pastimes.net is Chicago's number one source for magic singles and tournaments. Now selling singles, boxes, and supplies online. Tap into something new at pastimes.net. And by tcgplayer.com. Why shop anywhere else? Find all the internet's largest magic vendors in one location. Get the absolute lowest price on any card you need. Don't waste time surfing. Pick and choose from the cheapest vendors all in one place. You can also draft, view cards, and decks, and more. Shop, compare, and save with tcgplayer.com. And by strikezoneonline.com. Strike Zone Online has a huge collection of magic cards from Alpha to Zendikar. Free shipping available on orders over $30. Always paying top dollar for your magic cards at StrikeZoneOnline.com. As always, thanks to all our sponsors. They're, they allow us to uh, go to these Grand Prix, help you guys watch the live coverage at home. I actually want to give a shout out to um, MTG Linux who posted a, a, uh, a tweet on us. Like like the for the contest, you know, had a yep. contest. His tweet said, "I watch my pound laggy." DGS Live <laughs> on uh, com. So thanks, MTG Linux. We love you. I love watching, uh, reading some funny tweets. We, we'd also like to thank Matchplay.com, who's running Grand Prix Oakland this weekend. They've done a great job of running it so far, and uh, they're an awesome, awesome tournament organizer. So thanks so much. Go to Matchplay.com to check them out. I think a lot of our fans think you just memorize all the ads. <laughs> think I memorize them? They, yeah, they, they want to know uh, how much you practice for this. Like, I think that's a Brett Blackman. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so do we go over what, what we think these guys are boarding? It looked like Saito Saito, like a thirst and a spirit guy. Bring in for two English tours, and that's it? Maybe. You bring a ley line of voids at all? Or do you ready? Do you ready? Feel good? The Thopter combo is so slow; just does nothing. Like, if he resolves a hypergenesis at any point, he can just break it up anyway. You know, you should have like an angel in an or ring or something like that. Oh, but like your chick might have just like one of the pieces in him. 
something, and if he goes like hypergenesis for Angel and Hellkite, they might actually lose to the combo.